So this is part two of Christian authority. So number one, for you to apply these principles, you must be born again. That means you must be a Christian. You must have prayed to God in Jesus name to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you've taken it a step further than that and have received the Holy Ghost, the gift of the Holy Ghost, who Jesus promised to send after he returned to heaven, then even better so. But my seven-year-old daughter who is born again can apply these same principles, and so can you, for beings in earth, in heaven, and under the earth. Okay? So I'm going to start off with some Bible verses. I hope you can swallow that because it's very important that you understand that when you act on these things and you speak these things and when you think about these things that you are basing these things on what the Bible says. People can attack the credibility of the Bible as much as they want the Bible will not change. The people will come and go. The people will have their arguments and move on, but the Bible will not change. Thank God for the Bible. So, I am going to read just a short section from the beginning of the New Testament in Matthew This is my grandfather's old Baptist Bible. And uh, I like it. It's the King James Version and has the Thompson chain reference in it, which is kind of fun. I think uh, Bible study has almost become a lost art form, but hopefully this is going to help you by me having done some of the study for you and just sharing some of this with you. All right. So, Matthew 8, 5 to 7. And here it is. You ready? And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion, beseeching him, and saying, Lord, my servant lieth at home sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. And Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. It's a pretty good thing for Jesus to say to you, isn't it? The centurion answered him. Sorry, get it correct. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. For I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. I say to this man, go, and he goes. And another, come, and he comes. And to my servant, do this, and he does it. When Jesus heard it, he marveled. Jesus Christ, the Son of God, marveled when he heard this. And he said unto them that followed, Verily I say unto you, verily simply means truly. Truly I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. How cool is that? A Roman centurion, the absolute enemy of the Jews. They were, they were holding them hostage in their own country. And Jesus marveled and said he hasn't found such great faith than he did in this Roman centurion. They must have been furious and jealous. The centurion understood something. With authority, all he has to do is speak. And this is the key to the Christian authority. Your words Thanks for watching. We'll continue in part three.